Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we can find out the value that we're between two um, negative values, uh, z tables. Um, what's the problem then? That we are greater than minus 1.9 and less than minus 0 0.9, as shown um, in the picture here. I'll just bring the camera down a bit so that's a bit clearer to you. Bring this across, and hopefully that's nice and clear now. Turn it around a bit. Oh, there we are. Right, so, um, well, by symmetry, well, okay, we are exactly the same. Probably that I'm between two negative values is exactly the same as the probability I'm between the corresponding positive values. So the probability that I'm between minus 1.9 and minus 0 0.9 is exactly the same as the probability that I am between plus 1.9 and greater than 0 0.9. So you will have seen from previous work that that can be worked out quite simply. The probability that z is less than 1.9 minus the probability that z is less than 0.9. So we quickly look those values up in the table um, at 0.9713 minus 0.8159. And to finish that off with the calculator, that's your method. So now we're on to the last um, possibly that you might come across. So we'll look at that um, finally. So what's the probability? I'm great, less than a positive value and greater than a negative value that's not the same. So 0, 1.2 and minus 0 0.5. So to get the entire strip start off by finding the probability that I'm less than 1.2. That's easy enough, so we'll look that up in the tables. And that will give me 0.8849. But I don't want this area here. Now, that area there is the probability that z is less than minus 0.5. That will be exactly the same as the probability that z is greater than 0.5. But our tables only do less than values, so we have to take that away from, well, we have to take the less than away from one to get the greater than. So the shaded area, the cross-hatched area, that I'm, again I'm shading now, and I'm sorry you didn't um, see that in the video, so we'll just run through that quickly again. So basically we're working this out by finding the value that I'm between these two marks here and here, between 1.2 and minus 0.5. The first part of the problem is to say that the lines, the, the diagonal lines sloping down to the left, represent all the way to here, represent the probability that I'm below 1.2. If we look that up, it's 0.8849. The probability that I'm less than minus 0.5 can be found by, um, by no, no, knowing the fact that it's exactly the same as being greater than 0.5. And then we look that value up in the tables, um, and we find that 1 minus probably that z is less than 0.5. So we go to 0.5 is 0.6915, so 1 minus 0.6915, which equals 0.3085. And so our final answer then is 0.8849. Okay, that's the area all the way across from there. Right, take away the area that we get from there, which we worked out as minus 0.3085. And so we end up with an answer um, around about 0.5. And if we look back at our diagram, it's reasonably well drawn. And this area I'm sketching now looks to take up about half of the entire area. So the area, um, the answer looks about right. Okay, that's the end of this short video.